Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm really hoping that this tripod doesn't fall over during this introduction and I really think that this video deserves an introduction. So, this video is all about my mistakes. And you may be wondering, why would you film a video about your mistakes? So it's really, really sunny out here. Maybe I should take my sunglasses off. But I'm gonna keep my hat on because we're, what, like four months into COVID and I haven't had my hair done for a while. Um, it's awful. So what I did was I was trying to do lots of cute little resin sculptural bowls and they all went wrong and I'm not blaming anyone Chloe <laughs> my daughter I did I did three sets of two because I always do two at once and baby come here come say hi She's out with me. This is my little baby. This is my little baby. Yeah, she's out in the garden with me. Um, and I didn't babysit them properly. And it happened three times. So this video is about um, my mistakes and how I chose to turn the mistakes into beautiful successes. So it doesn't have to be um, a disaster. So I hope you enjoy the video and watch it to the end and see how I made um, two, four, six, maybe eight, I can't count, but they all turned out absolutely fabulous. I hope you like them and they are all on my Etsy store and um, so let's get into how I began the process of making these really cute bowls that never happened. So I'm going to do two different types. I'm going to do an oceanic one and I'm going to do like a kind of, not a geode, but I'm going to do like a crystal one. So let's do the crystal one first. And if I can undo the lid. Very good. I found these. in Michaels and I think they're new they're really really pretty they're like you know that glass you find on a beach that's been like smoothed by the ocean it's kind of like that it's called what's the lid oh they just call it filler but it's, it's just gorgeous and it's that really pretty pale turquoise color so i'm gonna just this is gonna be simple resin actually I've done it in two batches because um, like I said I want this to be nice and thick and I've mixed a little bit of 
Bombay's Aqua, which I'm going to put over the shells. And this one, like I said, is just going to be clear. <laughs> ready to place over their forms. I'm going to use a square one. Whenever I've used this particular vase, it's come out really well and I've never used a petri dish as a base. So I think I'm going to use this for the one with the like blue green gems. This one I'm going to use for the shells, which means I will need a petri dish, so move those out of the way. I've got lots of resin all over my desk because I've been busy. Um, here is the one. With the gems. Everything is so sticky, you just would not believe it. Basically, all of these are the result of um, not watching uh, carefully enough the resin. They were all meant to be resin sculptural bowls. And so I'm gonna go through one by one with you. Um, these two, <laughs> what I decided to do was I cut out the middle. They were obviously going to be never, um, too soft to form into a bowl. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to turn them into mirrors. Um, I have two... 10 inch mirrors that I will peel off this coating and um, figure out a way that I can attach this to the frame. I think what I'm going to do, to be honest, is, and I'll, I'll do this on camera, but it'll probably be done in fast time, um, just get a really, really thin, layer of resin crystals and place this on top i think that's the best way to, to stick it on because you know there are there are gaps here and the resin crystals will fill that in so that will be done in fast time and the same with this one oh this bit fallen off um i cut around all the edges with a um warm exacto knife and this one actually lays pretty flat, but I think I'm going to attach this one mirror once I've peeled off the protective layer and turn that into a mirror as well. So that is that. They come with three stickies, but I think I'm going to resin a, um, hook on the back for hanging so put that aside this one turned out really nice but I'm going to put another coat of resin in the middle and it's and I put a base on it, it turned out to be a beautiful um, serving plate I just it's got some know some gaps I just want that a little bit solid and it's food safe so you could serve it could be a fruit bowl um, um, it's kind of sharp but you know it's it's very very elegant um, this one 
it's food safe, but because some of the shells are exposed, I wouldn't put food in it. I think this would be gorgeous in a bathroom for like cotton balls and Q-tips. I've just got to clean this up. It's been lying around my studio for a bit. And again, I'm going to put one more layer of resin in the bottom. There's a sharp bit there. I think I'm going to just sand that down. And then, by the way, all these happened because, um, so this was like three times it's happened because I was making two at a time. And my lovely daughter, Chloe, was like, Mom, um, do you want to come to the shops with me? Which normally means, can you bring your wallet? And I said, okay, but I have to be back in time because I have to babysit this resin because I'm making sculptural bowls. And of course, um, I got back and it had set up too hard but not all is lost so this was another one I haven't peeled off the plastic yet and yeah, lots of flashing on this one so this one I'm just going to go around and peel off some of the flashing. I might lose some of the shells, but again, I'll do that off camera. And as long as no shells, now nah, see there's some shells, there's some shells. So I guess this one again would be for a bathroom. And again, I'm going to put some resin in the middle so we don't see any of these wrinkles and I put a base on the bottom so there's that one and I'll trim that one and then lastly this one which has some beautiful um this one again I put a base on it um glass crystals on it and I think you see how the plastic just comes out fantastically and this one I mean this is just exquisite it's so elegant and it's slightly tinted with um, a kind of aqua so again I'm gonna put resin in the middle and this I would definitely, it's got a flashing here, I would definitely put some food in here. Um, maybe some macarons or um, some kind of dessert or something really fancy. Uh, it's, it's, just, it's just exquisite or even just for decoration. Put something elegant in anyway so I'm gonna do the flashing and then we'll come back I will fill them up with resin and um, we will do a fast forward for finishing all these off because they've been on my studio floor for far too long and I have one more thing I want to show you everyone loved the blue um, serving tray that I made and um, I always have my molds lying around and I decided to make this one in um, lilac and pink. So I will put this on my Etsy store. It is finished with its base. So keep an eye out on my Etsy store. All these will go on my Etsy store within the next week. And um, so let's get on with that.
So for this one, I'm just gonna put some little seashells around the outside to make it even more beachy. And um, not a lot, just a few. And then I have these blue starfish that arrived. I got these on Amazon and um, they're just tinted blue. So this would definitely go in a bathroom. So I'm just, all I'm gonna do on this one is pour clear resin and I'm gonna get a lot of overflow over the edges because as you can see, there are flat points. I'm not gonna be too fussy um, because this is definitely going in a bathroom to hold like, cotton balls and, um, you know, uh, Q-tips and, or, you know, maybe it'd be a nice jewellery tray. Anyway, I'm going to mix my resin, we'll go on fast forward, and then this one, I am going to sprinkle some cut glass in the bottom and pour some Naked Fusion sea foam on. So back to fast forward. So there you go, I finished all my um, failures, which are not really failures, they turned out well. So when they're all dry, we'll come back and take a look. I'm thinking candy, candy jars or candy holders, um, bathroom holders, uh, lemons because really this video is all about when your art gives you lemons you make lemonade and um fruit some of the ones without shells could be candy holders with wrappers and uh, fruit with rinds on them there's endless possibilities and this one turned out really really pretty definitely beach theme going on here beautiful for a beach house and anyway I'll see you when they're all dry here we are they are all finished I want to show you exactly how they came out they are gorgeous this one is my favorite absolutely stunning this is the shell one with the gold inside. And I put some sparkles around the edge. There's this little stand. This one came out amazingly actually and didn't even get any drips underneath it. So super happy with that one. There are the two mirrors, amazing. And then this is the other one. And I put some um, glass inside that one. So now what I'm going to do, I mean, the mirrors are mirrors. They'll get hung on walls. But with these four bowls, I'm going to fill them with some suggestions of what you could use them for. And this is when... The phrase, when your art gives you lemons, you can make lemonade.
I'll be right back. And here we have some suggestions of what you could do. So, like I said, with the shell ones, I really wouldn't put food in, but this would be a lovely, beautiful inner bathroom for your guests or yourself. Um, or you could put wrapped candy in the one with shells. And here we go, when your life gives you lemons or when your resin gives you lemons. And, or like this one, just as a centerpiece for a table with a candle inside it. So anyway, there's some suggestions when your art goes wrong, it doesn't necessarily mean it goes wrong. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you got inspired by some of my mistakes and I will see you in my next video. Take care, bye.